Hey all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be discussing how to change your login and lock screen backgrounds on Fedora 42 with the KDE Plasma spin. So I recently decided to try switch from Windows to Linux and landed on Fedora KDE Plasma as my distro. Along the way, I ran into a few hiccups and so here I'm documenting some fixes. One of these hiccups was the wallpaper background I set for my login and lock screen not saving. It would default to the cartoon tree background that comes standard with Fedora. Whenever I'd wake the computer up or restart it, it would revert back to the standard login screen background instead of the one I set. And the standard login background is this, you know, like tree thing with the, you know, six times nine equals 42 kind of thing. And I'd keep seeing that even though that wasn't what I wanted for my background. So I've now fixed it and here's how I did it. So first the problem, there's really a few problems, but this was the, um, root problem for me. And that's that my wallpaper wasn't being respected because my wallpaper was located in my slash home slash user folder. I had like a slash home slash user slash wallpapers thing. But by default, if the user is logged out, then that folder is inaccessible. And so in order to get the wallpaper to be accessible when the user is logged out, we need to put it somewhere that it can be accessed. And so where should you put your login and lock screen wallpaper? So a better place to put it is in the shared backgrounds folder. This is gonna be slash user slash share slash backgrounds. This is where the default backgrounds are stored, including these um, Fedora default ones. And so it ensures it's available even when you're logged out. And so if you get an error when you're doing this and you don't have permissions, you can use sudo or open as administrator. And I'll show you what this looks like. So if we open up our file manager, oh, we're already here, but like, you know, you'll probably start out in documents um, or something like that. And in order to get it, from here, of course, you could use the CLIs. We're just gonna do alt up and then we'll find the user folder, the share folder and the backgrounds folder. And this is where you can see that we actually have the default um, Fedora backgrounds that always end up showing up. And then I've also put the background that I'm using here. And so this is a safe place for that login screen. Oh yeah, and if you try to copy in here, um, just from Dolphin and also for this CLI, it'll say like, oh, you don't have rights to do this. So just use sudo if you're using this CLI. So you have admin and then in Dolphin, you can do the same thing by pressing open as administrator here. And then you type in your password and it's gonna open up and it'll be like, hey, you're acting as an administrator and now you have read write access on this folder. Okay, so now we have that in a place where it can actually be used and now we need to change the login screen background itself. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna open settings, go to colors and themes and then login screen. And you can usually search this by looking at the login screen. Then we'll click the image icon under the login screen that's active and select the image and then click apply to apply the settings. And so I'll show you this, we'll do login screen. Um, we can see it here like this. And then we will come over here and we'll click this little change background button. You can see I have it, but if um, this is your first time, we'll go from load from file. And then what you'll do is you'll just navigate to where we navigated to last time. So you go up, go to user, share backgrounds, um, and then you'll click the one that you have here and that will allow it to show up that way. Note that you might need to restart your computer after configuring the login screen for it to actually be recognized and loaded. So you might need to try that as well. Oh, and please don't forget to click the apply to apply settings. It'll usually tell you like, hey, you have unsafe settings, do you want to apply? But and this is actually how you get it to apply. Okay, now onto changing the lock screen backgrounds on Fedora 42. So you should note that the lock screens also have their own background, which is like kind of confusing and doesn't really make any sense at all, um, but that's just the way it is. And so this is the background that will appear after inactivity or you use super lock or super Super L to lock your computer. And so to change the lock backgrounds, it's actually in a different place. This is gonna be settings, security and privacy, and then screen locking. And it's usually searchable via the start menu by typing lock screen. And then you can just click configure appearance in the top right corner, click add and navigate to your image in the folder directory, and then select it and then select your image and click apply. And so we'll do the same thing here. So I'll type in lock screen. We see screen locking here. Um, and then this is the little settings panel and I see configure appearance up here. And you can see that I've already loaded it, but if you're trying to load a new one, you can just click this add, find it in your file system and click open. And then again, don't forget to click apply. Now in my experience, you don't actually need to log out for this one to take effect. You just lock your screen using super L and you should see the new background directly. But you know, when in doubt, reboot the computer and, and see what happens next. So I'm thoroughly enjoying Fedora KDE Plasma and it might just be my daily driver going forward. Let me know if you have any questions or problems with the distro or suggestions for other things to cover as I'll probably be doing more videos like this in the future. Now, if you like this post, you might also like my multi-computer work from home productivity desk setup as a software engineer YouTuber. You might also be interested in the best laptop size to maximize productivity for software engineers. And finally, my 2025 job search as a senior software engineer, including my results, timelines, and how I study for interviews. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.